Hello, you wonderful people. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Just a quick note, I had a really awesome phone, but it broke, so I had to get the $30 version at Walmart that you can see here. So the video isn't going to be as high quality. Anyway, our trip started out awesome. We went to the Christmas Eve service, and we drove all around looking at Christmas lights. Once again, sorry about the quality. I was working with a potato, you know? <laughs> but yeah, it works. One thing that you might notice about these uh, shots is that there is a very distinct lack of snow. And oh, we were wishing upon a star for snow, and there was no snow. <laughs> we were hoping that we would wake up on Christmas. Oh, there's snow! But there wasn't any snow. Um, yeah, be careful what you wish for, by the way. You'll see coming up here in, in, in a minute. Did you see that? It's like a minion there. Someone's got a minion. Nothing says Christmas like a giant blow-up minion. Do you like eggnog? I love eggnog. And I've met a lot of people who haven't ever even heard of it. And that shocks me a little bit, but that's okay. You gotta grab some nog at Christmas. I mean, come on. Well, so all in all, Christmas in Colorado was great. It was a lot of fun. It went really fast, but, you know, we had a really great time. Well, driving back on the other hand, that was a different story. Remember how I told you, be careful what you wish for? Yeah, we got snow all right. We got tons of it. 400 miles, driving at a top speed of anywhere between 20 and 40 miles an hour, sometimes less than that. It was about 13 hours solid. And uh, by the time we... Uh, Reached uh, Gallup, New Mexico. We'd been awake for about 24 hours. I'm just never going to push myself like that again. It was too much. We had to stay the night in Gallup. Um, we just we were on the road for too long, and a strange thing happened when we got into the uh, to the room that we were staying in. Um, I suffered a pretty severe uh, mental exhaustion. It just I felt so broken, and. Um, it's going to be a memorable night. It's going to be a memorable trip for me, for sure. I think for the rest of my life. It was pretty extreme. When you stay that tense and, and alert for that amount of time, um, it can really take a toll, so be careful. <laughs> be very careful. All is well now, though. I'm all rested up and feeling fine. Sometimes tough experiences can become sweet memories, you know, so I'm already looking back at most of it and going, gosh... What an adventure, you know? It's always an adventure and I love it. Oh, also just a small note. Um, when we were in Gallup, we were, we kept passing these uh, pizza places and we were call, they were called Big Cheese. Big Cheese Pizza. And so we just had to try one. And I'm terribly sorry, Big Cheese, but the actual name of your restaurant should be very tasteless, small cheese, <laughs> flat, tasteless hard bread <laughs> and that should be the whole official name of it i'm sorry but it's terrible pizza sorry about that anyway check out these videos the southwest is magnificently gorgeous absolutely magical when it's got snow on it like this i mean it's neat all the time but when it's got snow it laying on you know over top of it, it man it's just wow it's so beautiful and you get to see the majestic wild FedEx trucks roaming free across the, the highway as they travel to their breeding grounds to, to make more trucks. Well, at long last, we made it back home and in one piece and, uh, and happy. Just happy and blessed for such a gorgeous Christmas. And no matter what happens through hardship and, and strife and life and all that stuff. And just remember that you're loved and that 2019 is going to be a good year. All right. So Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. And I'll see you later.